Welcome back, everyone. Time to delve into our favorite slicer, Bamboo Studio. But before we start, I have a problem. Or maybe we have a problem. The Bamboo Studio slicer we are using changes over time. So a topic I covered a year ago may be drastically different as the program or firmware matures. I try to make adjustments and update the videos to note these changes. But some features, techniques, settings may vary from version to version. A member of the community recommended I place the version number on my videos as I make them. This has been a godsend for marking changes. A good chunk of my popular videos have been made invalid after the latest Bamboo Studio update. So let's go over the issue and the solution. All right, so just recently, the new beta of version 1.10 was released, and this was an update from version 1.9. I'm gonna slide through a bunch of these, but we're going to stop right about here. This. The SVG tool that was added is more in line with Prusa Slicer and uh, Orca Slicer. So if you've been following my other videos, it's been completely changed on how they interact. And I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so this is version 1.10. So let's start simply with adding an SVG. So we'll import one in and we'll take Sonic. Okay, so we're gonna look at a few things. One, we see the outline of the SVG file and I pulled this from online and we have a few options in that the standard depth of 10 millimeters, you can shrink this of course, and we could change the width and the size. So we could shrink that down now, typically on the older versions, you could see an outline of the image. Now in here, we can see it. Uh, over here, we can't see anything. Uh, so once we have that on there, the decent size, we'll click out. Now, typically you'd run your mouse cursor over this and you'd see the outline. Or if you were to click on this and go to the paint tool, you could then paint it. Now, unfortunately, nothing is showing up. And if you look from my previous videos, you could actually right click on this and you can split this into parts uh, or objects. Right now, none of those are options. Now, the other thing that you could do was effectively add this to the surface of an item. So if I were to right click and we'll just create a cube and I'm just going to enlarge this a bit. You could right click on an item. Uh, you can go to add a part. And in this case, you can add an SVG. And we'll do the same thing. Let's say we add our Sonic. And we see that it shows up here. And let's say we want to shrink this down. Now you'll notice on here, you could say attach it to the surface. And of course you can adjust where it's at. You could change your size. You can basically make it uh, cut into the model or become a modifier. Uh, but again, the big problem is once you click on this, nothing happens. It seems like it works with certain SVG files. I'll show you what the interaction with the older version was. Okay, so this is version uh, 1.09, and we're gonna do the same thing. So we'll just go here, and then we'll import an SVG. And open. All right, so we brought this in. And again, this still would have the same size of 10 millimeters, but you can, of course, shrink this down to a reasonable size. And from here, you'll actually see that we have the outline so we could theoretically um, just paint this if we wanted to, you know, whatever we like. And of course you still have the option, let me click out of this, to separate uh, the outline from the rest of this. So if I were to right click, I could then split into objects. I'm gonna click out, I'm gonna click just the outer edge, this, and delete it. So from here, I could actually select the entire thing again, 
right click merge not assemble but merge and we'll wait for all that to go back together set this all together and then we can of course paint this as we want. Actually, I won't paint the whole thing, but you get the idea. So while I can assume that everyone knows how to download Studio, I'm just going to go through a quick uh, setup. So you're just going to go to BambooLab.com, click on the software at the top. And when you click here, you'll get the latest version of Studio. And if you're looking to get an older version of Studio, you're going to click right here and this will take you to their GitHub. Now at the top you'll see the latest version but if you keep sliding down uh, you can find all the other versions. In this case we will be looking for uh, 1.09 or sometimes it just shows up as 1.9. 1 1.52 public official and you just want to slide down and grab the version that you're going to use so in this case it could be Windows, it could be Mac OS, uh, Linux, etc. So of course, if you're running a Windows machine, uh, just get both of the installers. It doesn't matter which order you install them in. Uh, so in this case, I'm just going to install the latest version first, and I'll show you how to install the older version alongside it. So this is a standard Windows installation where you're just hitting next through everything. So nothing fancy here. So primarily, you're just going to go through all of the steps here. Select your region. You can hit skip here. Uh, select the printer that you're using. And the type of filament. All right, so you'll need the Bamboo Network plugin if you're going to use this over your network. Okay, so that's just a simple install. You could sign into your account, but nothing fancy there. All right, so now we'll install the older version. So, of course, just double click on it to start the installation. All right, make sure you have the right version and continue. Now, this is where you're going to stop and you're just going to change the name of the folder that it goes into. So that way we don't overwrite the other one. And then installation will pretty much be the same as it was before. Now there is an interesting thing that happens with the Bamboo Network plugin. It will only work with one version at a time. So if you have them both open, it'll throw up an error message. So right now it's installing because I have the other one turned off. And of course, when you open up the older version, it'll ask you to install the newer version. Just hit skip. Now there are a few things that we'll need to do. The Bamboo Studio shortcut that you see at the bottom uh, that will actually link to the previous version or the, the older version, the one we installed last. Uh, so we may have to make some adjustments to the shortcut that links to it. So I will just right click and rename the shortcut. Next, we're just going to find the other version and bring that shortcut to the desktop. So if we just right click and go to properties or open file location. From here, we're just going to actually click back, and this will show us both folders. So we're going to, going to go into the Bamboo Studio folder and find the shortcut. So we're just going to right click on that. And if you are running Windows 11, you're just going to click here. And then there's an option that says send a shortcut to the desktop. As stated earlier, if you try to open up both versions, you'll get this network error. So just make sure that you close out of the other one or open them up one at a time and you shouldn't have that error. Uh, this will also affect uh, if you're having your settings synchronized with Bamboo Cloud. So in this case, just again, make sure one's closed out and then it should work. Okay. 
Okay, Mac users, I have not forgotten you. So if you go into the Bamboo uh, website, same rules apply. So you can click on the latest version here. You can click on the link to the GitHub and then download the version that you want. Click on your download and then click on uh, the version. Doesn't matter which order, uh, we just got to keep in mind which one is which. And this part is pretty straightforward. You're just going to drag the Bamboo Studio over into the Applications folder. And from here, we're going to click on the other one and follow the same steps. So I'll drag this over to the Applications folder and we're going to hit Keep Both. Now keep in mind the one that you copy over in the the second round will have a two at the end of it. So double click on the applications folder. And you can actually click here or right click or hold control and click and you can rename the file. So whichever one's the older or the newer, just give it that name. All right, so we will uh, create some aliases or shortcuts. So that's just a simple uh, right click or hold control and click, and you can create that alias and then just drag this over to the desktop. And same thing here. All right, so you now have your two versions, older and newer. My thoughts. I am unsure if we can petition Bamboo Lab to roll back the SVG functionality, but I believe it is a huge step back from what we had before. Prusa Slicer and subsequently Orca Slicer SVG implementation work well if you're trying to have an SVG file attached directly to a model when it is formatted properly, otherwise it fails horribly. As shown earlier, we get a block with no image. The good news, there is a workaround using an older version for SVG and use a new version for all the updated goodies. If there's an interest, I may go over them in depth. Thank you very much for watching, and of course if you have any questions, please leave them down below.